Hey every- Ow. Oh. Hey everybody, it's the Hobbit Fan. Welcome back to more Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing. In the last episode, we managed to actually get done with this little area here. And it was rather a rather swell thing, I should say. And um, before we begin, we're going to pick up this balloon over, over yonder. Which is just an old person way of saying over there. <laughs> old person. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, they definitely speak different languages. Clearly. But... Um, something I want to mention is, see, we, um, we did the trophy races off, off a of camera, and, whoa, if I could just kind of stop here and, come on, alright, well, close enough, stop, 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 thank you, Diddy. If you will, um, kindly notice, there are three whiz pigs there. They weren't there before, after we completed the trophy races. I wonder what will happen. Hmm. Well, with our 30 balloons in hand and our slight clutziness and inevitability, we shall move on. So, how's everyone doing today? Today is Mar March 2nd? No. April 2nd, uh, 2013. Let's stop going around in circles here. And... Oh my gosh, there's a place behind the waterfall. There's no way. Absolutely not. It is impossible. Well, there is. You go behind that waterfall. And there's a world here. Um, fun fact, in Diddy Kong Racing DS, when will I ever stop talking about that? I don't know. In Diddy Kong Racing DS, there was a room here. And it would lead here, I think. Was it here? Hold on, let me actually look. It might have been here, or... Is it over here? Um, hmm, what is over here? Well, there was actually a hidden game over here. You could play it and get a balloon. Oh yeah, and you could circle around here. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I never picked this up? Oh my gosh. I never picked this up. I am so sorry, guys. I never picked that up. Wow. Alright. Alright, um... I guess I, I gotta stop saying all right. Uh, so let's go in here then. It only requires 16 balloons and we have 31. Dragon Forest. Dragon Forest. This is my favorite area in the entire game. Okay. Now this haunted my childhood forever. I had. This sounds stupid. I had dreams about what this area was in there. I had dreams about it because I can never find the key. And my brother, who would normally play this with me, he couldn't find the key either. Well, and this was before, you know, Google became kind of a big thing. Um, however, one day, years later, I found the key. I found that blasted key. And you might wonder, well, where is it, Hobbit fan? Well, I'm going to tell you. I think I'm going to record two episodes in a row. I'm feeling good today. All right. This is one of my other favorite musical scores in the game, and you get to hear it. There we go, lovely. Now, from here on out, by the way, the races start getting tough, okay? Thi oh, careful, dude. You're actually gonna- are you trying to hit me? Um, the races actually start getting a little bit tougher, and the competition starts revving up. No pun intended. So, you really gotta bring your A game from here on out. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm here to bring my A-game, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you are... Man, this LP is almost over, too. I'd say it's about two-thirds of the way over. Indeed. Oh, man, I'm actually starting to wonder what I'm going to do after this. Um, I found my old Game Boy, some of my old Game Boy Advance games that I think I'm going to use. Everyone's been wanting me to do Legend of Zelda. That's gonna be a tough one. I don't know what I'm gonna do, really. I'm gonna talk with my friend and we're gonna see what we're gonna do. As you can see, this first race is not a problem. By the way, that waterfall, important to keep it in your mind if you're playing along. Of course, if you're playing along, you probably finished the game already. I'm so slow. But, as you can see, we have a pretty comfortable lead. I'm not too worried. So I can relax here and just kind of, just kind of talk, you know. I had a few things I wanted to kind of mention. Excuse me. Thank you. Final lap. Thank you. 
Um. Oh, what was I going to talk about? I hate this. I have this problem where I always seem to not be able to think of a word or phrase that I wanted to say, and I just stop and go, um, uh, for like a minute. Even if I rehearse what I'm going to say, which I don't, by the way, um, I don't rehearse anything I'm going to say here, except occasionally I might make a list or two, a list or two, no, just a list of a thing or two that I wanted to say, but even then I just get cut off on one simple word, and I hate that. I, I know there's actually a medical term for what that might be called. But at the moment, I can't think of it. So. Alright, first balloon. That wasn't too bad. Now. Green. F what? Hold on. Oh, I thought that said Green Woody Village. I was like, what the heck? It's Green Wood Village. I thought this said Green Woody. I never actually. <laughs> wow, am I illiterate or what? Now, this is arguably the hardest level in. Diddy Kong Racing while you're on the planet. Spoilers, you leave the planet. Unspoilers over. And I did that. But yeah, this is arguably one of the hardest levels in, in the entire game, really. And the hardest. It's a little shortcut that I didn't get because, you know, I'm, I'm amazing like that. So, there, yeah, that was a little shortcut there. So we're gonna, gonna try and catch up here to the best of our ability. Like I said, the racers get a little bit tougher. The levels get tougher, and like it, as I said countless times, this is arguably the toughest level on the planet. So we're, I'm going to bring my A game here. Now, silver coin challenge for this is brutal. It is nasty. It is evil. It is, oh, it is I missed. So... And I, wow, oh, I, I, I don't have aim worth anything. Wow. It's a little crazy. As you can see, the racers are keeping up with me quite well. I still haven't won, but it's going to be really close. I need not screw up. Just look at, look at this level. It doesn't seem that hard, but when I was very young, I actually had trouble beating the silver coin challenge for this. I'm pretty confident I can do it now. Because games are always tougher when you're younger, in my opinion. There we go, that was the shortcut I wanted to show off. Not too much of a shortcut, but I mean, hey, it's there. I'd actually have to time what's quicker. So, I think it's still quicker because of the zipper. But, whatever shortcuts they offer you from here on out, only shave off a few seconds. Oh, I'm glad I avoided that. Finished! Alright. Now, my friends, my amigos, my comrades. If you can... I don't even know what I'm going to say here. But, remember how I talked about that key that I could never find? Well, these completely sadistic people over at Rare... Hold that thought. Yeah. Those sadistic people at Rare... Oh man, wow. At Rare, if I can finish a sentence. At Rare. Alright, that, that was on purpose. But, those people decided to hide a key in a place nobody would ever think of. See this bell? Well, here's what you're gonna do. Yeah. Now, look at that! What's that? Oh man, dude. Yeah, if you're trying to get this key, you're not gonna win unless you're better at this than I am. Now, see that key up there? Oh, I'm kind of slipping and sliding. Now, again, you see that up there? That is the key, that shiny thing. You have to do this and get up there that way. There's the key. And from then on, I'm going to restart the race here. The key registers. The key, what? Okay, I guess I can do that. But, there you go. That is where the key is. Uh, they hid that. They, there are some geniuses over there. Because I could not find that until I just looked around. I'm like, wait a minute. What is that? Oh my gosh, it's the key. I found it. That was one of the greatest moments of video gaming I've ever had. And there it is there. But we're not going to play that right now. We're actually going to finish the level. 
Excuse me. It's a pretty fun mini game too to play with friends and stuff. I really should be uploading my Super Mario World video while I'm playing this. Nah. Hooray for lack of multitasking! And I still can't do that. That's great. I said Wizpig's gonna real gonna take it up, oh, dude. Oh my gosh, this is not Ring Around the Rosie here. You cannot do that. By the way, Ring Around the Rosie was um was a song written about the bubonic plague. Yeah, because I believe the sight of a of a, an infected bite would create literally a ring. I guess I, I can't remember what the history was behind it exactly. But I know it has a lot darker origins than what a song like that might suggest. First place, good. Oh boy. Yep, so like I said, this is a pretty tough level too. Not nearly as bad as Greenwood Village, especially the Silver Coin challenges. But just because the hovercrafts make it a little bit tougher. Ugh. Yeah, hovercrafts are pretty tough, but like I said, in Diddy Kong Racing DS, the hovercrafts were worse. We're gonna do that, just... Huh? Whoa. Laggy, laggy, laggy. Oh, holy crap, dude. Wow. Uh, I'm kind of out of things to talk about. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe I shouldn't record two episodes at once. Um, in my opinion, in this level, your best bet is to stay away from all these balloons. No, not... Stay away from the balloons? What am I, nuts? No, don't stay away from the balloons. Stay away from the logs. You want to stay away from the logs, because in the end, they're just not worth it. And it's going to be a close race throughout. Even if you're... Oh, man. Even if you're really good, better th than I am at this game, you want to stay away from that. I should not have gone here because the other path is a little bit quicker. Oh my gosh, no. Good lord, you're scaring me. But nonetheless, we won. And we're going to be facing my favorite boss in the game here pretty soon. Haunted Woods. For the last level, it's actually not that tough. Haunted Woods. I guess they wanted to kind of give you a break before the boss, and the boss is pretty tough, but in a good way. Ugh. Man, don't... Man, get out of my way. You too tiny. Yeah, that's a... There's a fail. I was going to say there's a magnet done correctly, but actually it's ended up as a fail, so there's a fail. Uh -huh. Oh man. Ugh. Why am I doing this? Um, these chains, by the way, do absolutely nothing in case you're wondering. Wow, I'm terrible. Haha! -ha. Now you know how I feel. Alright, I'm catching up to you, turtle boy. I'm catching up to you, teenage mutant ninja turtle. I got you. I got your number. It is single, single, single. Tres, uno, dos, cinco. No, that's not the number. All right, put a little trap there for you. Wow, this one's actually a really close race, despite my saying that it was an easy one. It's also kind of close. Of course, that just reaffirms what I was saying that you got to bring your A game here completely. Of course, I haven't been doing that well. What can I say? All right, finish. And it's finished with style. But like I said, those chains do nothing. I've seen a lot of people wonder what the chains do. They don't do anything. Um, the Whispig heads don't do really anything either. It's kind of there to be scary. But also, it's kind of foreshadowing to show, hey, that's the last regular level in the game. You're going to be facing the man himself soon. Or the wizard pig hybrid thing. What would happen if a wizard and a pig had a baby? And worse, how would they have that baby? Oh, that violates so many laws of nature. Alright, I'm going to try to do my impression. <coughs> Excellent. Now I challenge you to a race. Man, I can't do that like I did. Eh, that was okay, I guess. I was kind of unprepared for that. 
All right, this is the bring your A game, guys. Bring your A game. Because he's going to take that head start. Yeah. Because then again, there's no commission to kind of tell me being a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. And if I do things like that, I'm not going to win. If I do things like that, I'm really not going to win. Boy, these fireballs. Well, no duh, Sherlock. Was it even worth it to get that? Yeah, I'd say so. You're going to be behind for the first two levels. I can almost guarantee that. I'm going to keep this uh, red balloon because I thought I was going to get that other one. Yeah, that was a good shot. Oh, shoot. That's not good. Still, we're gaining on him. We are gaining on him. Oh, I missed. Um, I'm a little nervous, guys. Not going to lie. This guy is really tough. If you think he's bad the first time, though, the second time, holy crap. If he's trying to prepare you for Wizbig, well, he did a good job. But, nonetheless, we passed him. <laughs> Alright, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a dragon. We passed you, and we're going to beat you. Dude! Oh my gosh. That, oh, that was ridiculous. That was intolerable beyond compare. Alright, but I think we've got it nonetheless. We're actually beating him fairly profoundly. I'm a little surprised, but I'm not holding my breath. Number one, because I have to keep talking. Number two, because second time, he's going to get pretty bad. Especially if I do that. Oh my gosh, I can hear him, I can hear him, I can hear him. Uh, I can hear him, I can hear him, I can hear him. And I'm running low on time. Okay, we gotta go. This has been the Hobbit Fancy all later. Bye-bye.